top of the March 12th tournament, Burma. Um, I've started playing it in two segments, especially for the Allies, because they're trying to do so much. Um, so I split the map kind of in half, running the English section in the mountains and the American Chinese section over here uh, as two different pieces. It's just easier, kind of like I did. I had to do with uh, La Grande Guerre. So what do we have? Um, well, I finished uh, the what March twelfth or March eighth week. So I'm on the March twelfth uh, turns, and the Japanese continue their march up. This out of supply unit here looked like a inviting target. So. The uh, sorry, I gotta study my wrist. The Brits uh, went for an opportunity attack on it, and twenty to one odds. Uh, one one level down from quality. Yeah, one one level uh, of quality less in the mountains, though, and. The uh, the Commonwealth took a step loss. The Japanese had an option which they chose to withdraw a hex with. Uh, <laughs> that just shows you how pleasant combat can be. No surprise. Uh, just and there were bombing attempts and all kinds of cool shit. I'm looking at the British situation and beginning to come to the conclusion I've got the extender in place. Infall is probably not takeable in and of itself. But there are a couple of little paths that are dangerous, and both sides are aware now. One is right here. I should be able to patch this. Um, this little snaky path could be a problem. That's not an immediate concern. Running along the, uh, the Imphal Dimapur Road, I've got everything blocked off there. Now, obviously, the Japanese could still try to slip around through the mountains because they can move a hex, and there's not much that can be done. But the one road I'm worried about is this trail right here, and I just do not see a way to block this sucker off uh, without, you know, shipping supply to it regularly. Uh, the only hope is that the Japanese will be so tired by the time they get there <laughs> that they won't make it. Uh, oh, forgot to move some units. All right, these guys got to get moving too. Um, yeah, I play off and lose. All right, so now over with the Chinese, they made another assault. Uh, the Japanese pulled their unit that was out of supply out of the place. Uh, they made another assault. I think this was uh, 10 to 1 odds, and but it's against a hedgehog, it's against units that are significantly better, although disordered from the airstrikes. By the way, Flak took out one of the, the big planes. Um, so the total value, uh, Chinese took two losses, uh, Japanese took nothing. <laughs> Uh, the Chinese are not going to be able to advance here. The road's moving forward. Um, the Marauders, well, they had such a bad experience, but they're back in supply at least, and we got a replacement for them, but uh, that was probably a real waste with them. The only bright spot for the Allies as a whole is that the Chindits landed somewhat successfully. Um, still, that's a pain in the ass to ship stuff into, so we'll see how well that works. March 15th in Burma, uh, fairly rapidly. Japanese continue their advance uh, into the mountains. However, their gambles on not eating or trying to find food are not paying off, and a lot of their units are out of supply. Um, down here, they're actually beginning to think about an attack, but that sounds scary. Uh, Chindits. 
Chindits are doing fine in and of themselves. Some supply got into them. The problem is the 823rd engineers who were going to come down and build them an air base uh, kind of crashed and <laughs> took the glider with them. They may, uh, they may not be able to do what I planned right away. We'll see what I can do with them. Um, moving over to uh, the Chinese front, air bombardment failed to affect that uh, entrenched unit. So the Chinese and Stillwell decided not to attack. The Marauders aren't being used. Um, basically things are at an absolute standstill there. Some Japanese moving uh, up to deal with the Chindit threat, if it ever develops.